wanted to make a quick video uh, to put out some information for um, owner operator type costs on the cutter teeth for the forestry mulcher. Um, so this is kind of geared for people who are already owner operators of forestry mulching machines or people who are looking to get into forestry mulching. So this is just kind of based on my experience. I've been using this forestry mulcher for about two and a half years. Um, I've run this for about uh, 2,500 hours. Um, and I know that when I was looking to get into this business, there was just a lot of uh, a lack of information out there uh, to figure out owner-operator costs. So here goes with a little bit of details. So these are the cutter teeth. Uh, this, this is one of the biggest expenses with running a forestry mulcher. Um, I use a forestry mulcher that comes with Bobcats, and I use a Bobcat T770. It's a 92 horsepower machine. It's high flow, and you definitely need high flow to run a forestry mulcher. Uh, as far as Bobcats machines, uh, they consider high flow to be 28 to 39 gallons. Uh, per minute. Uh, I've had my machine tested and everything, so I'm running 39 gallons per minute. So RPMs on this thing are very important for cutting. So the higher the flow and having the power to push it um, is what gives it its efficiency. So cutter teeth. Um, I've been getting about 300 hours on a set of teeth. These are all new teeth. There's 30 of them. One tooth. Uh, I get mine from Bobcat and this particular model that fits this. Um, you can get it in two different ways. You can get just the cutting tool is what they call it and that's about $89. But these are held in by two half inch hex head cap bolts so if you buy them by the kit which is the cutter and the two bolts and washers it's hundred and twenty nine dollars um, but what I do is I just buy the cutting tool for eighty nine dollars and then I go to a local shop that sells specialized bolts or that carry carry these size bolts and um, there's a short bolt and a long bolt. So together they cost about $3 a piece. So I'm basically paying $89 and plus $3. So about $92 a tooth uh, times the 30 teeth is roughly um, $2,800. And what that works out to, uh, since I'm getting about 300 hours per tooth, at uh, twenty-eight hundred dollars, uh, that comes out to about a little over nine dollars per uh, cutting hour. So, and I'm not a mechanic, but um, I am pretty proficient at changing these out. And it, to change out all thirty of these, and I'm a little particular about cleaning things up when I have it apart. It took me about six and a half hours to change out thirty of these. I'll give you a look at, um, well, one thing to talk about quick is, I know some people run uh, blades or things called samurai blades. Um, it really depends on what kind of material you're in. I'm located in central Tennessee, out of Clarksville, Tennessee, which is about 40 miles northwest of Nashville. So the kind of soil we have here is anything from you know good soil uh, to churdy soil or uh, kind of clay type soils uh, I do occasionally see some limestone but not very much uh, the biggest problems I have with running into things that damage teeth or just debris that is kind of hidden in the woods or in the brush things like tires tire rims Ran into a 73 um, Camaro bumper one time that wrapped around here. 
uh, things like that will damage teeth. Uh, limestone, when you get into hard rock, limestone will grind these edges off within seconds. Uh, but getting into any of the softer, I call them softer rocks, but the churdy or clay type of rocks, uh, these will kind of pulverize. So when I say clay type of rocks, I mean I've, I've run over things like bricks and cinder blocks and it just kind of pulverizes those things in the dust without doing any damage or any kind of excessive wear. Um, just as a technique that I do, is this is a full set of 30 I put on. Um, so I'll run these for about 300 hours. And what kind of happens is you have a tendency to use more of your center teeth more. So they'll have more wear on them than the end teeth. Maybe the last row or two on each side. So what I'll do is replace depending on their condition. Um, sometime throughout the year I'll replace 15 or 20 of the center teeth and leave the outside in place uh, so they can get more wear on them so I can still keep up the efficiency of the cutter and get the most bang for the buck out of these things since they're so expensive um, but this is the first time in um, two and a half three years that I've replaced all 30 of them I usually kind of rotate them in and out like that so that's just my technique. So I'll give you a close-up of what the teeth look like. This is the actual parts that I use from Bobcat. Here's the part number. These are the bolts that they're secured with. This is a four inch, four inch long. It's a half inch bolt with 20 threads per inch. So it's a fine thread for a bolt this size. And these are hex head cap screws. And this is a three inch bolt. So there's a three and a four inch bolt. So as far as the teeth, this is a new tooth. This is a 300 hour tooth. So just looking at it, you can kind of see uh, the kind of wear should have kind of they're not sharp sharp edges but they're well defined edges that come to a point uh, you can see on these teeth they're rounded in this direction but the biggest thing is the profile of it and I'll get this set up here so you can kind of see the profile of it so this top edge is really the cutting edge so you can see on this side how it how it rounds over and this is the actual carbide inserts and these blocks are some type of steel so you can see the wear and again this was new 300 hours ago and you can see the wear that it has uh, nice to find edge on the front and these are rounded edges uh, when you're using it as an operator uh, you can kind of feel when it's just uh, kind of pounding the wood instead of cutting it still cuts but just like a chainsaw blade a sharp chainsaw blade will go through a log like butter and give you good chips and when a chainsaw blade gets uh, a little worn uh, it's harder to go through the wood and it starts coming out more like a like a powder but uh, what this does is it starts tearing the tree into bigger bigger chunks instead of really chipping it as it's cutting it so this will have a a better a better cut a better finer mulching action and when they start wearing down uh, you'll notice it'll be a little harder going through the trees and um, you'll start shredding the tree into bigger chunks. So,
I guess that's really about all I had to say about this. Uh, just to give you some idea of costs and um, operator costs, which are important uh, for figuring out your owner operator costs. Again, the Bobcat T770, high flow. It's got 92 horsepower, plenty of power. This size machine has plenty of power to push push that mulching head. Um, a couple things that you definitely want if you're ever using a mulching head, as you can see this uh, front glass, it's three quarters of an inch. You can see the layers in it. It's polycarbonate. It's definitely bulletproof and uh, I definitely recommend, I would not operate a mulching head without this polycarbonate window on it at least. Um, but Bobcat has a forestry kit which includes the door, some safety features, um, FOPS, falling object protection system, and some covers to keep debris out of uh, your engine compartment. Uh, but some people, even if you have the standard glass, definitely will not recommend that because uh, any kind of debris, even uh, sticks or parts of trees or rocks, will definitely ricochet up and hit your window and I've got some nicks on my window but uh, I try to be careful and this is my second machine after three years so this is a newer windshield um, but but that's it I hope this information was good for you and useful uh, this is my business Clevenger Forest Services uh, you can look me up on Facebook under that name I also have YouTubes uh, that I try to post. I'm not a filmmaker and I try to do this just for kind of informational purposes but uh, if you're watching a YouTube now please uh, if this was good for you please like like it and subscribe to my page and I can get more videos up and um, that's it. Good luck to you all out there and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.